Huskies dropped the series finale to UCF 8-2 to two, as we're joined with head coach Jim Penders. Coach, uh, a rarity for you guys. Starting pitching uh, was rough this weekend. And what did you see from Mason there in the first? Uh, they were able to jump on him for four runs. Yeah, he left a few changeups up. He left a few fastballs up. It seemed like everything was elevated today. And he's been honing in on and keeping it at the knees and putting it wherever he wanted. And I uh, just proved that he's human. You know, I mean, uh, all three starters proved that they were human this weekend. Yeah, it's difficult to win. I'm not happy that we came out of here with just one win, but when you don't get a quality start, I consider ourselves, uh, I think we're fortunate that we got out of here with a win after we didn't get any quality starts. Every single weekend we've had at least one quality start, in most cases two, and in some cases three. And that's a luxury, but that's how we're built. You know, we're not, you know, we get a, a big hole, we don't hit three-run holes. You know, we've got to scratch and claw to get back in, and it, it's, you saw today how difficult that can be against a really good pitching staff and a really good baseball team. They were making plays when they had to, and, and um, you know, it was a big hole. It was too big a hole to dig out of. You guys had nine hits, though, and you stranded eight. What what do you see the differences between the at-bats with runners on base? Not, I, I didn't really see any, you know, if anything, I, you'd have to ask those guys that. You know, I didn't see any real change. A couple of our young guys, you know, you get a couple of freshmen together in the seven eight spot. They came up in a couple couple spots there where, you know, they, they just they don't have the experience yet to know what the pitcher is going to try to do. And we got a little big a couple times, you know, Chris Winkle got a couple of big swings off that you just need to get the barrel to something. You know, even early he had an opportunity and and uh, didn't do a great job with his at bat. Connor Moriarty a check swing and then, you know before two strikes and those are things that the more they play they're not going to do you know but the only way that we can we can uh, correct those things is to allow them to get burned and that's what experience is so um, you know we, we got to get back we've been gone 47 of 68 days not that anybody cares but since February 16th these guys have been battling and, and I'm proud of the way that they've battled I mean I, I consider ourselves uh, fortunate to be where we're at, you know, in, in the hunt for, for the league title. We got certainly got to play better than we did this weekend, but to be seven and five and to be home for uh, a total of 21 days since February 16th, uh, I think it says a lot about our potential as, as a tough team. We look tired, you know, today, certainly playing in the heat. That's only going to get hotter. We got to take care of our bodies and our minds. We got to get back to the classroom this week and get prepared for finals, too. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. But um, I'm looking at it as glass half full. You know, I, I, I think this is, seems like we go through a little bit of a lull every year, and hopefully this is the bottom of that lull, and we're going to work our way back out of it this coming week. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Chris.